Hello friends, this video on triangles part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. External angle bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite sides in the ratio containing the angle, similar to internal angle. Let's draw this. This is the triangle, triangle ABC. Correct? So once we have the triangle ABC to draw external angle, we extend this. So let's extend this. So this somewhere here will get the external angle bisector. So let this point be K. Let's draw this also. So we got this angle bisector. So this point, this angle, this angle are equal. This angle 1, this is angle 2. So I can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Correct? And let this point be D. So in such case, the theorem says that AB by AC will be equal to BD by DC. What? So read it once again. External bisector of angle of a triangle divides the opposite side externally in the ratio of the side containing the angle. This was the triangle ABC. AB by AC will be equal to BD by DC. So externally it is dividing in this way. Correct? AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. That is the external angle bisector theorem. And we will prove it now. Just try to understand. It's a memory tip actually. So if this is an internal angle bisector, this is A, B, C and this is D actually if you see right. Then AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Correct? Here also it's almost same. If you take this point D here somewhere or external angle bisector actually here, D dash actually. Same thing, AB by AC will become B, D dash by D dash C. The thing is, you have to start from B, go to D and then from D to C in first case. Second case also, you start from B, go to D and then D to C. In first case, it is internally, in second case, it is externally. That's the memory tip. We'll have this tip again. But in this slide, let's focus on the theorem that is external angle bisector theorem AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. ABC is a triangle, angle A is the external angle here. You have AD that is the external angle bisector of this angle A. Then AB by AC, the ratio of the side of this will be equal to BD by DC. To prove this, let's draw this point. EC and EC is parallel to AD. So I'll say draw. This is to prove. We have to we'll prove this now. Draw EC parallel to AD. Why? Because I know the theorem only now. So I can do something with that. Correct. So applying this from the right hand side is BD by DC. That is BD by DC. So BD by DC in this case, since EC is parallel to AB, what will get? Will be AB by A. Correct? This will be AB by A. Why? Since EC is parallel to AD. So we'll apply the tail theorem. What we got? BD by DC, it's BD by DC is equal to AB by A. Now we have we have to prove that BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. If you see it is AC here and it is AE here. If somehow we can prove that AB is equal to AC on purpose so. That's what we done using the reverse engineering method. If we can prove that AC is equal to AE, our problem is solved. This is AE and this is AC. Correct? To prove AE is equal to AC, we have to prove that these two angles are same. So let this angle be 3 and 4. So now we can see that since EC is parallel to AD, we can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Why? Corresponding angle. Sorry, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Why? Corresponding angle this is angle 2 actually. Angle 2 is equal to angle 3. This is angle 1. Similarly, angle 1 will be equal to angle 4. Vertical opposite angle. So angle 1 is equal to angle 4. So this is alternate angle, sorry. Alternate angle. So we have 2 is equal to 3 and 1 is equal to 4. Correct. Also we are told that 1 is equal to 2. 
that is we are told since we are told one is equal to two we can see that angle three is equal to angle four now we have proved that angle three is equal to angle four and that is what we were asked to prove since angle three is equal to angle four that in triangle AEC in triangle AEC A is equal to AC correct once A is equal to AC, whatever formula we have derived here, in this, we will say the same thing what we will do here, I will write BD by DC is equal to AB by, instead of A, I will write AC and that is what I was supposed to do. Hence, I proved using reverse engineering way. Just approach the problem from the reverse direction and you will get the answer very easily. We have drawn this line. First thing we did, we drew this line EC parallel to AD because that's all we know till now. Here's theorem. The first thing that strikes to our mind is BD by DC. In BD by DC, we got AB by A. But if we are asked to prove BD by DC is equal to AB by AC, that means we have to prove AB is equal to AC is equal to A. To prove AC is equal to A, we were to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4, and we have proved that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.